Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, you're going to write a retale of Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble by Marianne Coca Lefner. This is from Second Grade Journeys, Lesson 16. So, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble is fiction. And what does that mean? Fiction books are made up stories. Fiction is not real. It has illustrations, it's pretend, it has characters and a setting. So, but what is the genre or type of literature of Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble? Is it fantasy? And fantasy means things that cannot happen or reality. And reality means things that can happen. Well, the genre or type of literature of Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble is realistic fiction. It's made up, but it is tied to what you see in real life. So here's our reality stories noticings. The story could happen. The places are real. The people can be real. Animals act like animals. And you might learn facts, and it can be funny. But it is still fiction, but it's realistic fiction. It's, it could be based in reality. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. So because at the end of our lesson or our review, you're going to challenge yourself, and you're going to answer this question. What happens in the story? write a retell. And we're going to use our traffic light symbols, signals, our colors. Green means go. Say what happened at the beginning, like first. Then yellow means slow down. Tell what happened in the middle. Then later. And then finally the end or finish. Tell what happened last in the story. So here's our learning target. I can write a retell of the story, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble, using complete sentences. So success criteria, that means how will you know you're successful at writing a retell of the story, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble? Well, here are our steps to success. They all lead to this learning target. You're going to say and match the characters and setting in the story. Then you're going to say and match the lesson or moral of the story, what the characters learned. Then you're going to put the retelling pictures in the correct sequence or order. And you're going to say, match, and write the sentences to each picture, saying what happened first, later, next, and last. And then finally, you're going to take your writing and check it using my writing checklist. So characters, what are characters? Characters are the people, animals, or objects in a story. Setting, what is a setting? Setting is where the story takes place. Sequence. What is sequence? Sequence is the order things happen in a story. For example, you're going to write these sequence words first, next, and last, or beginning, middle, and end of the story. So before we write the retell, you are going to say the retell using this graphic organizer and sentence starters. Retell of Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. The characters are, who are the characters in the story? The people in the story. The characters are, well, the characters are Mr. Tannen, the kids or students, and the townspeople like Mr. Apple. The setting is a, where does the story mostly take place? The setting is a,
Well, the setting is a school. So now we're going to put the pictures in the correct sequence or order. First, this happened. Then, later, and last. So first, what did Mr. Tannen know? Mr. Tannen knew that Well, Mr. Tannen knew there was not enough money in the account for the playground. Mr. Tannen knew that the kids would be very disappointed. And I underline the word account and disappointed because those are some of our vocabulary words. Then what happened? Mr. Tannen decided... Well, Mr. Tannen decided to sell his ties at an auction. This added money to the playground fund. Later, how did Mr. Tannen feel after he sold his ties? Later, Mr. Tannen felt... Well, Mr. Tannen felt a little sad after selling his ties. He repeated to himself, you have to give to get. Now it was finally opening day, opening day for the pl new playground. Last, what happened in the end or the last, the townspeople... Well, the townspeople gave the ties back to Mr. Tannen. He received them happily. The playground was now open. In the end, everyone learned that when you blank, you usually get more in return. So, in the end, everyone learned that when you blank, you usually get more in return. Well, in the end, everyone learned that when you give, you usually get more in return. Because remember, he, Mr. Tannen repeated, you have to give to get. Now it's the end of our review. It's time to challenge yourself. And you will need a piece of paper and a pencil because you're going to answer this question, what happens in the story? Write a retell. And again, we're using our traffic light colors. Green means go. And you're going to write first. Then yellow means slow down. Tell what happened in the middle. Later, still in the middle. And then finally, red means stop. Tell what happened at the end, last. Remember, say each sentence out loud before you write it. And remember this writing checklist. When you write each sentence, use finger spaces between your words. Use punctuation or periods at the end of each of your sentences. Use uppercase letters at the beginning of a sentence and sound out unknown words. So if you come to a word you don't know how to spell, write the sounds you hear. And then my favorite, reread each of my sentences. Reread them to make sure that they make sense. Did you write all the words you needed to or did you forget to add a word so that it made sense? All right, think about this as you're writing your four sentences. Now it's time to answer the question, what happens in the story? Write a retell. Again, green means go, say what happened at the beginning. So look closely at the picture. 
first, Mr. Tannen knows that, and I'm sorry, I should have said knows. It should have an S at the end of no. First, Mr. Tannen knows that. What does Mr. Tannen know? He knows that. So say your sentence out loud. First, Mr. Tannen knows that. And then finish that sentence. Say it out loud, then push pause and write your green sentence. And when you're done writing your green sentence, push play to rejoin the lesson. All right, now we're going to slow down. We're going to talk about what happened in the middle of the story. Then Mr. Tannen decides to, what does Mr. Tannen decide to do? Tell me out loud. Say your sentence out loud. Then Mr. Tannen decides to, after you complete that sentence and say it out loud, push pause and write your first yellow sentence. When you're done writing the sentence, push play. And we're still in the middle of the story. Later, Mr. Tannen is sad. Why is he sad? He's sad because... So say your sentence out loud. Later, Mr. Tannen is sad because... After you say your sentence out loud, push pause, write your second yellow sentence. And when you're ready to join me, push play. Now we're at the end of our retell or the finish. Last, the townspeople give. What do the townspeople give? Last, the townspeople give. Say your sentence out loud. Complete it. Then push pause and write your complete sentence. When you're done writing your red sentence, push play. All right. Now I want you to look at each of your four sentences and check your work with this writing checklist. Did you use finger spaces between your words? Did you use punctuation at the end of each of your sentences? Did you use uppercase letters at the beginning of a sentence or capital letters at the beginning of your sentence? Each of your four sentences. Did you sound out any unknown words you didn't already know how to spell? And then my favorite, did you reread each of your sentences? to make sure that you didn't leave out a word and that they make sense. So if you need to, you can push pause and check each of your four sentences with this writing checklist. And then when you're done, push play. All right, at the top of your paper, I want you to write a reflection. I can write a retell of the story, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble, using complete sentences. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I wrote four complete sentences, and I used my writing checklist. Or would you give yourself a three? I could help others with this. I wrote three to four sentences. I used my writing checklist most of the time. Or would you give yourself a three, two? I needed some help with this. I wrote two complete sentences and I sometimes use the writing checklist. Or would you give yourself a one? I needed a lot of help with this. I wrote one sentence and I did not use my writing checklist. So how do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one? Write your reflection at the top of your page. All right, so now you can look at my example that I wrote using these sentence starters. What happens in the story? Write a retell. 
and we're going to use those uh, traffic light colors. Green means go. Start at the beginning. First, Mr. Tannen knows that. Uh oh, I don't know why it's doing this. This is Pearson. Let's see, I don't know why this is doing this out of order. Okay, so first, Mr. Tannen knows that kids will be disappointed because there isn't enough money in the playground fund. So that's my first sentence. First, Mr. Tannen knows that kids will be disappointed because there isn't enough money in the playground fund. Then Mr. Tannen decides to sell his ties at an auction to get more money for the playground. Later, Mr. Tannen is sad after selling his ties, but he repeats to himself, you have to give to get. Last, the townspeople give Mr. Tannen back his ties. He happily receives them. All right, boys and girls, thank you for writing with me today. Have a great day.